before we do anything, we must shut off the breaker. Pull filter off. We do not want to electrocute ourselves. No. Okay. So, as you already know, we're keeping this, keeping the timer, so that's staying. So we have two of these boxes. This is going here, this is going here. Um, we're replacing everything. And by the way, um, I'll have a link in the description below to purchase all this stuff if you're interested. This is replacing this box, this is replacing this box. So we'll have to... Um, when we dismantle this whole thing, everything must go through itself. So this wire has to go through the primary box and, and so on and so through, so, so on and so forth, through and through, so everything is together. So this is a disaster waiting to happen. So this is going to be an interesting um, rebuild because everything cracked. It's, it's really disheartening because this shouldn't happen. So... That's what we're going to do. And we have one GFI outlet, which is on the bottom. And then this is a primary, which is where the pool filter goes. So just keep in mind, the GFI controls the power going to the timer and this outlet. This timer controls this outlet. This outlet controls itself. But the power is controlled by this GFI, which if this fails, the power to the rest of it disappears, which is how it's supposed to be configured. This cannot be dedicated at all. This must be controlled through the GFI below. Okay, that said, let's get started. Okay, so I actually put a tent over myself, a little gazebo, because it is hot as hell outside. So let's pull this wire off. So we're gonna mark this one right here. And in theory, it could stay because that's just going to indicate that that's the one on the right. And we can always go back to the video going, hmm, where does that go? So we know it goes here. I know I'm being a little pain in the neck right now, but this is very important because if you make a mistake, everything is going to go to shit. And you don't want that. So we have this other orange wire here. It's also piggybacked with the jumper. So we just want to pull out the wire and not the jumper. I want to leave that as is. And then we have the white wire, which is here. So the connections, and I can't see because I'm going blind apparently. Okay, that says timer. So the white wire is connected to the timer. <clears throat> this is just a jumper for common. So this is, this is jumpering the common. And then we have normally open, which is this connection here. So in other words, when the timer is off, it's normally open. And then when the timer clicks on, it's normally closed, which closes the circuit. And that's how this timer works. And that's all we need to know. So let's continue. So we remove the white wire. And now this is technically free. And I just noticed something, that this ground wire is not even connected. So this should come right off. Well, in theory. So now, timer is off. We can put that aside. We'll use that later. We'll put the two screws in here so we don't lose them. Timer is put aside. So now, we have the remaining wires here. And, uh, okay, let's... Let's move it down so you could see what I'm doing. Okay, so now this is where the timer came from and the wires go through. So we want to pull this out and see what we got going here. So the orange wire with the gray, this is going to be really tight. So this is this thing is so destroyed, it's not even funny. So the outlet we're replacing it with is going to have two outlets on it non-GFI, so this is water resistant, tamper resistant, weather resistant, 20 amp outlet. Okay, so as I said before, make sure you have uh, 
the electrical outlet is turned off. Pool filter, off. This is really rigid stuff. So, white wire goes from here. So this is a, a loop. If you look carefully, let me just lower this down so you can see this. There's a loop here. So instead of, instead of um, cutting the wire and adding two wires to this, they looped it so you don't have to worry about it coming off. So, so the white wire comes through, goes to the outlet, and goes down. Ground wires, and the orange is the hot. So this orange wire is the one with, which goes to the normally closed, I mean normally open switch uh, port on the, on the outlet. So we need to pull all this through. I know this is a pain in the neck and I'm showing you this, but this is very needed to know because the more data you have, the less mistakes you'll make. So knowing what you're doing ahead of time or during the process, the better you're off, the better off you are. So we know that this wire here is the switch for the normally open for the timer so we can try to pull this through <clears throat> there we go remember it's got the gray on it so we know where this goes and now we know where this loop goes and this is a pre set length hopefully whatever we do next for the next installation this will be enough if not we'll have to make a new one which is not a big deal so since this is the white screw, we know this is the white wire. This is actually darker. This is brass. So we know this is the black wire, or in this situation, the orange wire. Obviously, this is the ground. This is also done with a loop. There we go. Ground wire is off. Neutral and ground technically are the same thing. Technically. They both go to the same bus. So we took that off. So there's the loop. There's a loop for the ground. And you know what's really interesting about having this video? <laughs> Is that if I make a mistake if I, or if I forget, I can always go back to my own video for you guys that I'm doing for me or whatever, vice versa. Let's remove all the wires. We gotta pull them through. And I'm not sure why it's so difficult to pull out. This is crazy. It shouldn't be that hard. Okay. We're done, we got it through. All right, so let's remove this. All right, so this white wire is the neutral feed from the outlet, which, is, which makes sense, because when the GFI is enabled, then this is live. When the GFI turns off, then it disables everything going up. Okay, so this is the GFI outlet, okay? And there is a proper way of installing this. And we must make sure that you understand that this is how it's done. Now, on the back here, your AC input goes here and here. So your, your neutral goes here, your hot goes here, and your load, when you want to go to another outlet, if you want to feed another outlet, you use these terminals. It's fed by the bottom two screws, the load. It actually says load on the bottom there. Okay, charge, load. So then your, your hot goes here and your neutral goes here, and that's how it's set up. So this is the feed coming off of the GFI. This is the feed coming in. Let me, see. Let me make sure you can see that. So I'm gonna just zoom in on that for you. So this is the feed coming in from the breaker from the house. This is the output feed to the outlet up top and the timer. All right, so we make sure that we, we were aware of that. To look at the orientation of this, obviously it's upside down. So feed is on top, output is on the bottom. And um, Wait a minute here. Did it break off in a different spot? Let me see something here. Actually, you know what? This wire broke off here. 
That's what happened. Okay. This did not, this was not a loop. So this is the feed, the hot coming from the breaker. This is the output hot from, from the, um, from the GFI. And that goes up here. So we can remove this. So we put that aside. And uh, so we have the hot and then we have the neutral. So we gotta spin this around and remove this. Okay, that and that, that's done. So we can pull this wire through. Put that aside. Again, we may need to redo all this wiring, so I may have to run to Home Depot if we don't have if the wire is too long or too short. Well, too long, I don't care about. So here we go. So this is the feed coming from. Now this is the interesting part because I don't think this is going to be able to be broken off. This is the first, remember, I'm doing this on the fly. Let's remove the ground and get rid of this. Okay, see we're done here. Now it's time to dismantle this whole thing and figure this out and, um, and start building. So I'm gonna do that off camera because my situation is gonna be different than your situation. So I'm going to figure out how to get this off without making a huge mess. From the looks of this, I may need to change the pole. All right, so we're continuing. We mounted the box. We need to put one more screw in. We'll do that. Do I have it handy? I do. So put that right here. All right, so this is secure. All right, so we got this mounted into the post. And what we're gonna do is, um, I do have similar to what we had before. So I am adding this piece, which is a brand new one right here. And we're going to do the same thing, do a pass through for the ground. So we are hitting these ground wires here. One goes, one wire goes to my motor and the other one goes to the ground. And it's down, it's buried underneath. Okay, so now we are continuing the, uh, the setup. We're gonna do ground last. Technically, the ground is not supposed to be cut at all, okay? So what I did was um, I added a screw terminal here. This is PVC cement. Um, right here. And I'm starting to build, rebuild this whole setup here. So this is here. Now I'm going to put this here like so. And we're going to start building up. So I'm going to put everything together as if it's ready to go and then we're going to add all the wires after the fact so we're going to build all of this now and then um, start you know start doing what we need to do well I was able to thread that part into the bottom of the box which I, works out really well actually um, I didn't want this too long So it'll work, it'll work out like that. So that's the, the whole installation. Let me show you. So it looks pretty cool. It'll actually work. So let's build this all now, get this out of the way, and then we'll start wiring it up. Because uh, that'll be the way to go. So let me pull back the video camera. We have a wider angle as I do this. We'll do close-up video of the uh, wiring. Just want to show you how we build this quicker. 
All right, so let's add some cement to this. Now we can screw it down. There we go. And then we can screw this down as well. So now we are going to install the GFI. All right, so now we're gonna continue with the installation. So that, that black wire that I said I needed, it looks like I don't need it after all. So the orange wire, so let's just zoom in on this. So we have the white wire, which goes to the timer, which we're gonna re just rewire everything so we're good to go here. All right. So that's the timer wire. <clears throat> Let me put that in here. But it, we're just putting all the wires in now, so we're done. And this one goes into normally open. Let's just remove that. Okay, that's in there. We have one more to go which is another orange wire that goes from this point here down to the GFI. And this gets connected to the, we'll put it on the other side there. So now the timer is rewired. So everything about this is finished. So we can push that closed. So we're gonna work on this outlet now. And this is the, the neutral, which is the loop. And this is the normally open for the hot. See how this is all coming together now? Pretty neat, right? <laughs> so again, copper, silver, copper so we screwed that down to that terminal and we're going to use the loop here so let's try to tuck this in a little bit and then we're going to loop this on like i said it's very rigid okay let's tighten this down one wire that we haven't done yet i'm sure if you noticed it there's no ground yet, right? Where's the ground, Joe? You gotta do the ground. We will. That's coming. So we have the output of the GFI. Let's zoom down onto that now. So this is coming from the Where is this? This is the output of the timer. And then this is the neutral coming from the timer. So as the, the white wire, it's the loop, goes to this, goes to this. This wire goes directly to the, to the main outlet where the uh, where the uh, pool filter is going to be connected to the orange wire 
which is common, which goes back down again to the output of the GFI. And we'll have to put a loop on that. Let me just drop this down so you can see more. But remember, I gotta work and record at the same time with this. This is a real pain in the ass, but it is what it is. Okay. That goes on like so. We'll crank down on this. Spin it around. And we wanna get the neutral. Flatten this out. Pop this baby in. Make sure the screw terminal's out all the way so we have plenty of room to screw it in. Again, on camera, give me a pain in the ass time. <laughs> it always does. Okay. All right, so this atlas done. Technically, I like it in this position. So the ground's on the bottom. So this is the problem that we're gonna have now because we need to install the grounds. All right, so what we had to do is, as you notice, we have the grounds on the outside. We went through the box. And then since I already have it all together again, but I'm gonna explain it to you because I really don't wanna take this whole thing apart, unfortunately. On the inside, on the top here, where the outlet is, is the other ground going to the top of the metal piece. And the actual ground coming from the circuit breaker goes directly to the sorry goes directly to the th to the screw since the frame is part of the same ground then we we take this we put the ground that's going from each box each box has a ground so then we go to the main outlet and we ground it there on the top and then everything else is grounded so that's how this works. And it's, it's working really well. So check this out. Um, turn it right on. And there we're going. We're rocking and rolling. So this GFI is for my... Let me plug this back in again. This GFI, and there's a little notch out on the bottom here. Allows you to close it and stay sealed and water, water protected. Water, you know, so you don't have to worry about getting water on it. And this is it, and we are finished. So right now I have, uh, this says on, and then it's on timer. So this is the current time right now, it's 8.30. So where that arrow is pointing, and it'll stay on and then shut off. Nothing wrong with mechanical timers. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hopefully this was very helpful for you. I'm really hoping that it was. And uh, you can use this as your guide. This is the proper way of installing a um, pool filter GFI multi-outlet setup. GFI outlet that's timed. GFI controls all of the power. Take care and we'll see you next time.